What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Boy Presley here. Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing you some hacks and tricks on how to age your pets the fastest in Adopt Me. Alright guys, so you know from my latest videos that I'm giving away heaps of fly potions and a pair of bat wings. So guys, make sure to stick around because I'll announce a winner and I'll show you how to enter later in the video. Alright guys, I actually just noticed that Sparkles is one task away from being fully grown and she wants to go to the pool party. So let's just head over there and then we can see Sparkles as the fully grown pet that she's meant to be. And I'm just going to go down the slide because who doesn't like to go down the slide when they're turning fully grown? Okay, this is probably breaking every bone in my body, but it's worth it because it's fun. I just fell off the side of the slide okay so sparkles is almost fully grown now she's got about 10 seconds left of the task this is super cool one more task now one more task so right now she's got sleepy and she needs to have a shower i don't know how she has two more tasks last time it was like this far until the end and she still has one more task to go Alright guys, so I'm showing you the longest way to level up your pets right now, but in this video I'm going to be showing you the fastest way to level up your pet with some really cool hacks guys, but right now Sparkles needs to have a bath and I've actually got a little secret bath inside my pool just down here. So here we go, let's put Sparkles into the bath and then underwater she can turn fully grown. Oh my gosh, she's almost fully grown! Yes! Okay, our unicorn aged up, new pet trick available and now she's actually fully grown guys, this is the best! So let's head up and go to Pet Trainer Shane so that she can like learn some awesome tricks. Oh my gosh, I'm actually super happy that Sparkles is fully grown now. All right guys, so right now I'm on the top of this person's car and they just gave me a nice trip over to the school. So let's just head into here. I don't think they knew I was on their roof, but so let's go into here and Pet Trainer Shane, can you please teach my unicorn some new tricks? Oh my gosh, look at that dance, that's super cool. Can you do a backflip? Oh my gosh, this is super cool. Alright guys, so let's just get back to the main point of this video on how you can level up your pets really fast. So you just saw that I leveled up Sparkles the normal way. I took her to my house to have a shower, I went to the school and put her in the bed at the school and just walked around and did all of the tasks that you're meant to do. So heaps of you guys have been asking me how I level up my pets so fast. So I thought about making this step-by-step -step tutorial for you guys so I can show you all of the hacks and tips and tricks that I use to level up my pets really fast and you guys can do all of these as well. They're super simple and easy to do. So first guys, let's head over to my house because that's where I do most of the leveling up of my pets. So let's just head into my home. It's just there. I'm gonna go and ride my unicorn so it can just drop down. Okay, there we go and through the door. All right guys, so I'm back in my house and I'm just gonna head over to an empty room so I can show you guys the first tip where you can make like a grinding room, which that's what I call it, but you're pretty much just grinding to make some awesome pets. So this is the room that I picked, guys. This is pretty much just a normal room. It's a nice large room so I can make heaps of stuff. But guys, all you need is like a tiny home room even. Like you could do it in your tiny house if you wanted to. So it's super easy. You can do it in a big room, a small room. But I had this big room ready to use so I just thought I might as well use it. So the first step is to make the grinding room. This grinding room, guys, will let you level up your pet super fast. But I'm not only going to show you how to level up one pet, I'm going to show you how to level up four pets at once. Alright guys, so I just put Sparkles back into my backpack because there's no more tasks to do for her and I got out Starburst because I want to level Starburst up to fully grown so I can get a little bit closer to making a Neon. The first thing we want to do in here is set up the grinding room. This grinding room will let you level up your pet really fast and do almost all of its tasks in this one room. So guys, there are a few tasks where you do have to leave the room, but I'll show you some hacks for those later. Let's start building this grinding room so we can level up our pets really fast. So the first thing that we want to do is go into edit house, go into stuff and get a bath. Because the showering is one of the most common tasks, along with like sleeping and eating and drinking. So let's go and get a really cheap bath. And guys, with this grinding room, you're going to want to get like the cheapest version of everything. Or you can get like an expensive version of everything if you've already got heaps of money and you want to like make it look nice. But I'm just going to get the cheap $13 bathtub and just put it on the wall along with three others because I'm going to be showing you how to level up four different pets at the same time. So let's just get this last cheap bathtub. Okay, there we go. Guys, the reason I put them on the wall is just so you can have space to walk around in your house. So next we want to get a crib, which is like a baby bed, so we can put our pets into the bed. So let's go and let's just get the basic crib because it's the cheapest. You can also get one of the pet beds, but I find that they're really expensive. So this is like the cheapest option, guys. I'm showing you the cheapest way to do this sort of stuff. Alright guys, so I just deleted the door over there because it was a little bit distracting and I want this room just to be a grinding room. 
So I'm just finishing up, putting some cribs on the wall. And what you want to do, guys, is have them all in a line. So have the bath and a bed in a line for every single pet. The reason for this, guys, is because you can keep track of all four of your pets. So I can have little Starburst here, and let's say I had three other unicorns here. I can just pick up Starburst and put it into the bed. And this is like Starburst's bed. So I'll show you guys how to do that later on. And I'll also show you how to do four pets at one time. So next up, we just need some sleek feeders because those are the cheapest versions. So let's just search up Sleek. So the Sleek feeder is this one just here. It's only $99, which is like the cheapest pet food and water bowl. So we just need to place it there. And like all of the other items, we just put it into the one line. So guys, this one is really good because you need to feed and give water to your pets really often. So you're just going to want to put these Sleek feeders all in line with each other so they're really cool. And let's just do that and let's just line them all up. So this is like really useful because you feed and drink your pets a lot. So the next item that you're going to want to buy is the piano. A lot of people don't know this hack because like nobody knows about it. It's like an unspoken thing. So the piano actually cures the boredom of your pet. So when your pet wants to go to the playground, if you just get a piano, like I'll just buy the piano and put it right here. You can actually get your pet and put them on the piano and they'll like cure their boredom. So the piano cures your boredom, which I find really cool because that's like one of the orange tasks that you can just do from your home. It takes ages guys to get to the playground. And once you've got it here, it's going to be there for life. So you can just Play the piano here instead of going all the way out of your house and all the way to the playground. This one helps you level up your pet faster because that small amount of walking time there and back all adds up once you're grinding for about an hour, especially when you're doing lots of pets at the same time. So let's just place these pianos here. My, my unicorn starburst is just floating there. Um, I'm just going to keep her there for a while because that definitely looks pretty cool. So let's just get out some more pianos so we can place heaps of them. So you're going to want to place one for each pet because each pet will want to like play their own piano and the boredom task happens at the same time for every pet. So you don't want all of them to be waiting in line because that just takes quite a while. So guys, the last step is kind of like if you want to, but you can like color all of the stuff a different color. I do this because it just looks more visually appealing to you when you're grinding for a long time. You've got your favorite colors there just to like make you feel a little bit better about the grinding room. So I've just got a bunch of blues because blue is my favorite color. And let's just color the baths as well. All right, guys, so I'm just doing the room up a little bit just so it looks a little bit more prettier because you spend a lot of time in here, guys, if you're trying to make neons because neons can sometimes take hours to make if they're legendaries. But guys, this hack will definitely help you to make them much faster. So I'll just pick this as the floor paper. So now this room looks really awesome. I'll just change the color of this door to like a pink just so it fits in with the theme because you don't want a big brown door there when you've got a nice colorful room. So guys, this is the grinding setup. We've got the feeders down the bottom, then we've got some baths, then some beds, and then we've got the piano. This is super awesome, guys, because you can fulfill heaps of tasks. All right, guys, so let's level up some pets. I'm going to be showing you how to do four pets at once today, but if you want, you can just do one pet just by having like one feeder, one bath, one bed, and one piano. All right, guys, so the way that you are going to be able to level up four pets at once is to have your account and three other accounts. So guys, today I'm going to be using my family's account, but you can use anyone's accounts. You can use your friends' accounts, your family's accounts, pretty much anyone's accounts that they'll let you use. All right, guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is log all three accounts into three different devices. The next step is to go and get them to teleport to you because you're going to need their accounts in the same room as you. Guys, I've got a couple of iPads in front of me and a phone, plus the computer that I'm using to log in. All right, guys, so I just got all of my family's accounts to join my game, and now you just need to send them all a family request so you just need to click on the orange icon on the side and then create family and then once it loads it'll come up with this screen let's add some people to our family and then you just need to click on each account and invite them to your family and then go on each account and they should have a pop-up saying you've been invited to your accounts family so now we just need to accept it on all of the devices so once all of the accounts are in your family there'll be a green bar above their head so once all of the different accounts are in your family you need to give them all the pet that you're trying to make neon. I'm just going to try and make a neon dog because it's common and it won't take too long. So I'm just going to do give item from backpack and give each account to my dog. And guys, today we're going to be leveling up the dog so I can try and make my second neon dog. I'm on the road to a mega neon dog, guys. I can't wait. Let's just go and I'll get mine out. 
So I'm just going to put one dog in each of the baths right now, and then I can have one set up for each dog. You don't need to do that. I just put them there because it looks cool and they're in the middle. But soon, okay, they all want to go camping, which is awesome. The first orange task. All right, guys, so this is the one that I was going to show you the hack for, where there's the orange tasks and you need to fulfill them, but you can't do them in this room. So the first thing you're going to want to do when one of these pops up, like for the first time and only for the first time, is if you have like a hyperspeed potion in your backpack, take a drink of that because then you can go really fast from place to place. So let's just go and I'll drink three of them actually. So now my account is like running pretty fast, about three times the speed is normal. So now all you need to do is go and get like a double stroller because those are the most streamlined and useful. So get your double stroller and then pick up all four of the dogs. Two of them will be in your hands and then two of them will be in the stroller. All right guys, so there we go. Two in my hands and two in the stroller. That looks really cool. And now I can just head outside and go to the campsite so they can all go camping. So let's just go out here, go out the door. So I'm just gonna run all the way to the campsite. I might drink a few more hyperspeed potions, but if you have like a vehicle that's really fast, I advise to use that because that will get you around even faster than the hyperspeed potions. So now they're all just camping and you can actually break into this little lodge here by just clicking on one of these beds and then go and make you sleep. So now I've got all of my dogs just sitting here and I'm and we're in this little lodge. So now you can just put all of the dogs into here and I'm just gonna go, oh my gosh, someone else has used this hack and I can't move it. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to wait. Oh my gosh, why did I get kicked out? I'm gonna have to pick up my dogs from the side now once they've finished sleeping. So guys, that's one of the hacks because in there you can get $5 s'mores and it's just a nice little confined space where you can just put all of your pets in bed and after you go camping, you're always going to need to go to the hospital. So when you go camping, always stay outside because the next task is going to be going to the hospital. Guys, I'm doing all of the orange tasks that are outside of the grinding room now. So if you've got heaps of orange tasks at the top, do all of them in one short time because then you can like go and we can just heal our whole family at once and we can just go from place to place like and do it outside of the grinding room and then we have a big time in the grinding room and then small time outside. So they all need a bath, so let's just go and put them all down in the bath and then afterwards we'll put them on the piano so they can cure the boredom task. And guys, as you can see, all of the tasks are being done at one time. Like all of these pets are just ticking over and they're all leveling up. As you can see, they all just like went like a step up in junior. So let's just pick them up and put them back onto the piano so that they can do that and not be bored anymore. Oh my gosh, I find this really satisfying, just all of those task bars going up. So usually we would have to go to the playground and you would have had to walk all the way there. But since we've got the pianos in the grinding room, we can just do it within seconds. So let's just make them all have a nice little drink. Guys, if you get a little bit bored of this, you can even have another device up with like Netflix or YouTube on to pass the time. But guys, as you can see, they're leveling up super fast compared to if you had to run around to the different places. All right guys, so that's my grinding room hack on how to level up your pets the fastest. Tomorrow I'll tell you what stage I'm at with all of these dogs and maybe we can make a neon together. All right guys, so we're just going to leave the dogs there because they're about to like have the shower task and they can all sit there. But now it's time to announce another winner of the giveaways. All right guys, so today's giveaway is the bat wings, guys. These are actually not available to buy in the game anymore. So these are going to be super cool when you're trading. People will trade some awesome stuff for them. All right guys, so the winner of a pair of bat wings is Callum Nichols, guys. Congratulations, Callum. And guys, you know what to do to enter the giveaway, just like Callum. All you need to do is join the Pretzel Army, leave a like and subscribe, and have the best day ever, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.